And Jordan, there's so much control that the users have in this mode. What kind of coach setting tips would you give to players once you have your team out there, your lineup set, how do you play the game and win? Coast games set you so much apart because you can dive into it and go with so many different things. There's a system called system proficiency. And what this system does is it literally tells you like schemes and plays that your coach and your team thrives in. So let's say if I have grit and grind and my grit and grind is rated at a three star, then I probably want to go with something. Thanks for joining us on 2K Sport. Here are the starters for Charlotte. Rogier is the two with Miller at the three. MP is out there with Miles Bridges. And it's Ball in at the point. And for Indiana, Toppin at the four and Turner at the five. Halliburton at point with Matherin by his side. And it's Heal in at the three slot. Pretty interesting backcourt matchup here, Grant, with a lot of star power at the guard positions on both sides. And you know, traditionally, B.A., when big guys match up, it's all about the power. But this contest is about finesse. Who can outplay and outsmart the competition? Now here's Halliburton, down low. And it's Turner that time on the assist from Halliburton. There is something special about a crisp, on-time, on-target passer. Mr. Halliburton, how you doing? Right wing. Rozier outside. The three from Ball. Knocks down the triple. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. And here's Matherin. Pass to Halliburton. To the paint. Toppin outside. The three is up. Offensive rebound, Pacers. Oh, -ho! MP with a block. To the inside. And it's Bridges with the jam. If you leave a teammate of LaMelo Ball that wide open, I promise you he will find him. Halliburton, the pass to Turner. Here's Heald. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. Reliable approach. Getting the ball in the paint and going to work. It's Bridges on the wing. Ball passes to Best. Oh, stolen by Turner. Oh, and the fast break for the Pacers. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. We will look back on Buddy Heald's career and marvel at the consistent three-point shooting he provided no matter what team he played for. And for Buddy Heald, he became the second fastest player in NBA history to hit 1,500 three-pointers doors. And consider, B.A., only Stephen Curry did it faster. Heald is one of the top three-point shooters in the league. He's got both the volume and the efficiency to prove it. The Pacers have gone just two for four from the floor. Here's Matherin. Uses the glass on the layup. Well, you see the strength, the upper body strength of Benedict Matherin to complete that play. Pass to Best. Here's Bridges. Who poked away. Shot clock at six. Three-pointer Rozier. Connects from downtown. And three for four to start. Showing some rhythm. The Pacers have gone three of five here in the opening quarter. And he's going for the lob. And then Turner with the dunk. If you find the defense sleeping, Miles Turner has the length and athleticism to make that look easy. Ball passes to Best. Off target at the rim. For Indiana, they've gone four of six in the first quarter. Toppin outside. Outside heel. Pass to Turner. Wide open. Another one falls for Indiana. Here's Ball. In the game against Houston, very impressive. Just under three and a half minutes elapsed here in the first quarter. 
MP outside. On the wing, Rozier. And a miss there on the triple. And so it's Halliburton with it. He brings it up for the Indiana Pacers. Four-point game. And this is the first season matchup for them against this Hornets team. Yeah, they beat this team in the season series last year. But what's that really saying? Charlotte has gone two for three from outside the arc. Out to the right wing. Here's Miller. Goes here outside. Inside. Best. Can't get it to fall. 0 for 2 now. A perfect example of how to protect the rim. That boy to have someone back there who can erase your mistakes. What a big time asset defensively. And just a great job of getting there first and absorbing the contact. Right there. Out left to the wing. Back to Rozier. Ball outside. Pass to Miller. MP outside. Five on the clock. Charlotte needs to get one up in a hurry. Here's Ball. Charlotte again missing. That's a shot he makes with regularity, but that time the defense up to the challenge. They double him with MP. Jacks up a three. Indiana again missing. Charlotte trailing to snap the cold streak. Miller can't get it to go. And it was a great chance to finish on the break. And he flubs it. It was right there for him. He'd love to have that one back. That was embarrassing. Oh, not the defensive effort they need to cut into the lead. For a good call, you have to at least try to protect the rim. It's just too slow to react. You can't afford to sleepwalk through possessions. What's going on out there? And now looking at the 2K leaderboard. Here's a view of which teams last year got after it with their shot blocking. Second, Indiana. Well, an important element of their defense is the ability to intimidate. I mean, their stellar shot blocking last year accomplished that in a big time way. MP inside. Turner covers. Bridges misses. Halliburton looking over the floor. Pass to Turner. Three-pointer. That's good. And Halliburton gets the assist. Halliburton's got three assists now in this one. Halliburton against Ball. Rozier outside. Shoots. Good as the jump shot falls. Rozier's got five now. Well, there's an unpredictability to his offensive game. He is always keeping the defense off balance. Well, Grant, the Pacers made no secret about their focus on improving defensively. Yeah, B.A., I mean, that's how... ...take the next step. They rank near the bottom in a lot of defensive categories, and that has to change. And of course, they know it. And why go away from attacking inside if the D has no answer for you? Pass to Bridges. On the wing, Rozier. MP with it. Back to Rozier. The kick out to Ball. He drains it as the shot clock ticks down. He's got five. Well, with that kind of poise, LaMelo Ball looking very much like a veteran right there. Matherin passes to Halliburton. And here's Toppin. Pass to Matherin. And Miles Bridges is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul of the game. The Pacers making a switch here. Neesmith's checked in. The Hornets making a switch here. Now here's Matherin. Up top, Turner. And the shot goes down. And the Pacers lead by nine. The assist numbers certainly stand out. They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Let's it go. 
Nice spin off the left rim and in. He is now three for four to start this game. Clearly, the confidence is already building. Pass to Neesmith. Takes a three. That's good. And Halliburton gets the assist. You can't help but look toward their defense. <laughs> They're totally lost. Williams on the wing. Now here's MP. Misses the layup. His defensive talent, such a gift for his squad. Boy, you see the effort. You see the range. This guy prides himself in his ability to shut you down. Now here's Halliburton. Yet to see a basket. Pass to heel. Here's Matherin. And he can't get that one. Ooh, excellent D there from Ball. And here is Williams. Soft touch off the glass. Sometimes with that much of a height advantage, resistance is futile. Ball against Halliburton. Pass to Neesmith. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Grant, during your 18-year career, you only went to a new team three times. And a chance for a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for the Pacers. Well, in today's NBA, the three-point shot is so valuable. They realize this, and that's why they're continuing to drain as many as they can. Yeah, and their assertiveness in the paint so far tonight has been impactful. They're really making it hard for the interior defense. This is how the floor looks for the Hornets starting the second. Ball and Rozier, they man the backcourt. Miles Bridges is out there with Miller, and it's MP in at the center position. That cuts the lead to single digits. And that's what you get from Brandon Miller. I mean, he can really whip passes there around the court. Nimhart, the pass to Turner. Here's Nimhart. To the middle. Outside for Halliburton. Right side Matherin from behind the arc. And once again off the mark by Indiana. And here's Bridges. He'll bring it up for Charlotte. They trail by nine. After this one, they're off to Dallas to take on the Mavericks. That game will conclude the three-game road trip they're currently on. A chance here to catch up with Ali from the sideline. Indiana's a team on the rise. Coach Rick Carlisle said this is a new era of Pacers basketball, a direction of youth and of going all in on a group of guys that are young, talented, and extremely high character and tremendous upside. Brian, a lot to be excited about. No question. Absolutely. Thanks, Ali. Here's Halliburton. And once again, off the mark by Indiana. Charlotte has gone three of five from the perimeter in this game. Bridges outside. Pass to Rozier. MP outside. Now here's Rozier. Not a lot of room. The Pacers pull it in. They've led by as many as 11. Outplayed in their previous game on their schedule. Losing to the Cavs. Oh my, it was a great game. It went down to the wire. Both teams gave all they had, but only one could come away satisfied. You know, that one's a tough one to take. You force the extra session, and then you have the heartbreak of not being able to get it done in the extra session. Brutal. Yeah, and you never want to let shots at the rim go uncontested. One thing that impresses you about LaMelo, the way he reads defenses and makes the game easier for everyone around him. This is about the last guy you want to send to the stripe right now. They keep fouling him, and he keeps making them. Here's Turner, and it's good as he snugs it right through the net. Turner's gotten four this quarter. Yeah, when you make your mid-range shots, you force your opponents to adjust. Well, truth is, though, he's tall enough to get that off against anyone. Rozier from outside. And Toppin pulls it down. Oh, love the intensity in which they're hitting the boards. Halliburton against Ball. Halliburton, the pass to Turner. 
there's the whistle. The illegal screen is the call. Here's a look at what's coming up for the Indiana Pacers. On Monday, they'll defend the home court against the San Antonio Spurs. And then on Wednesday, they'll defend home court against the Utah Jazz. Oh, got that one up quick. Miller's got his first bucket in this one. Love the confidence from this young man. Miller's so quick off the catch. And just over three and a half minutes played here, second quarter. Toppin finds Matherin. Unloads from 13. And the rebound goes to the Hornets. This game following their win against the Rockets. You have to credit the game plan going in, especially at the offensive end, where they were just so relentless. And that's not an easy environment to play in. To score at the rate they did on the road says a lot about their intensity and focus. And that was our AT&T 5G slam cam, bringing you the sauce. Turner, no good. You got to move past that one. I mean, they'd want him to take that again. And they should, because it's when you start turning down that kind of look that your offense can start to bog down a bit. MP scanning the floor. The kick out to ball. Cash. It's MP picking up the assist. Now just a two-point Indiana lead. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. Time called here. The Pacers decide to talk it over. All right, Grant, I'm going to ask you to put on your executive hat now. Tell us what the key is to establishing culture at an NBA organization. Ooh, B.A. Culture, structured accountability. It's about getting the right group of guys, having strong leadership. And, of course, it only works if the coaches and players fully buy in. To the right side. And here's Turner from the arc. The Pacers again can't hit. Here's Charlotte. They're on a 13-4 run. On the wing, MP. To the paint. Here's Bridges. He nails it. And we're tied. Bridges has got seven yes. now in this quarter. Oh, it's exactly what you want to see from Miles Bridges. Assert himself, use that frame to convert through contact. Halliburton against Ball. The ball's knocked loose. They get it again. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Matherin's got his third bucket of the night. You want to talk about a player who relishes contact. That is Benedict Matherin. Big time finish inside. Here's Ball. He can't hit that time. Halliburton with some nice D. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. First personal foul. Terry Rozier picks one up. The two things you love here. How confident Halliburton is offensively. The second is not afraid to take punishment while he's shooting the basketball. At the 2023 three-point contest, Tyrese Halliburton made an impressive showing, Grant. You know, he did, B.A., but sadly he wasn't able to win the contest. But he did manage to tie the record for most points in a round. So his efficiency can't be questioned. Here's Best. Pass to Rozier. Bridges outside. From deep. And again, Miles Charlotte Bridges. with the triple. Miles Bridges getting more and more audacious from the three-point line. We see you, sir. Nimhart, the pass to Toppin. And here's Halliburton. Shoots over ball. Indiana again missing. Here's Miller. He's covered by Matherin. And there's contact and a whistle. So he's got two shots coming up. Yeah, with the size and versatility Miller brings to the table, he's a tough cover for just about anyone. Taking two shots. Ties it up, and his next one could give him the lead. And some changes here for the Pacers. Neesmith, he's checked in for Turner. Brown comes in for Nimhart. 
And it's McConnell in for Tyrese Halliburton. Boy, a really soft touch on display. It is a luxury to have a big man who can hit from the line at a consistent rate. And that one's good. The shooting fundamentals a real plus for Obi Toppin. He has consistent mechanics and a high release point. All no good. Let's give some credit to the defense for how they're guarding this guy right now because they're refusing to let him get comfortable. Brown finds Toppin. Off target with the three. And here's Bridges. He'll bring it up for the Hornets. They trail by one. And that one drops. Best has got four points now in the quarter. You know, I really like this. Instead of putting his head down, Terry Rozier keeping his eyes up and finding his open teammate. Outside Matherin. Back to Toppin. Outside Matherin. Oh, MP with a block. Pass to Rozier. Ooh, good finish at the rack off the slick feed. The assist. And now a three-point Hornet lead. All right, guys, what do you think about the hustle stats for the Hornets? Yeah, I love the energy and aggressiveness I've seen from them on defense. They're really getting after it with all these blocks. You know, also, they've been incredible on the fast break, taking those chances, playing with great pace. Miller, the pass to Rozier. McConnell against Ball, pass to Best. Here's Miller. Let's go with a three. Another miss. He's one for four from the field. To the wing, right side. Back to McConnell. Now here's Toppin. Fires the three. Hornets with the rebound. Best has got his fifth rebound in this one. What a brutal night for this guy, and it is having a ripple effect throughout the team. This is tough. And breaking out the one-hand slam. Man, an emphatic way to extend the lead a little more. McConnell against Ball. Pass to Neesmith for three. That one's good. On the assist from McConnell. McConnell's got three assists tonight. What a beautiful stroke from range. Defensively, you've got to try to take him out of his comfort zone. Miller, the pass to best. Over Toppin. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Well, that was clearly a foul. No good on the free throw. Yeah, they, they're really cashing in more at the line here in the second quarter. Heels checked in for Indiana. So Charlotte going with almost an entire new group here. Indiana has gone just one of five so far this quarter from three. Here's Brown. The shot comes out. Some solid defense from Martin. Charlotte has got three of five to fall from beyond the three-point line in the second. Here's Best. The kick out to Williams. Back to MP. And that's his fourth bucket of the game in seven attempts. And now almost all their points coming from the paint. Smith against McConnell. Pass to Smith. And again, it's Indiana with a three. They're going to have to pay more attention to him on the perimeter. He's hit four three pointers already today. MP outside. minute and a half left in the first half of basketball. A nice shot by Smith. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. Pass to heel. And he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. <laughs> Buddy heel taking flight, showing he is more than just a three-point specialist. Smith passes to Martin. Got it. And the Hornets lead by four. And guys, Smith. the way this defense is getting manhandled down low, you have to wonder if they're at 100% right now. Brown passes to McConnell. That one drops for him. How good a playmaker are we watching? Always leading, always trying to create for others. Williams on the wing. 
Back to Smith. Martin against Brown. Steps back and shoots. Off the left rim and out. Indiana's gone two of six from distance here in the second quarter. McConnell passes to Toppin. That one's good. Oh, On the assist from McConnell. Oh, McConnell. McConnell's got six assists here tonight. And we've got 28 seconds left in the half. Martin outside. Pass to Best. Now Williams. It's Martin on the wing, defended by Brown. And that Best. one's good. Best has got 11 points. They're punishing those late defensive rotations, getting good looks inside throughout the half. Healed for three. That misses. Would have counted had it gone. Well, you have to love the hub. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that's been... 62. Fans, please give a big round of applause for your... And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. Miles Turner really making a difference here. The numbers say it all. He spent the first half playing efficient ball. I think they've taken their time. They've showed incredible patience. It's a sign of a well-coached ball club. Top it at the four and Turner at the five. T.J. McConnell is out there with Tyrese Halliburton. Yes. And it's Heal in at the small forward position. That's the group for Rick Carlisle getting going here in the second half. McConnell passes to Toppin. Back to McConnell. Pass to Halliburton. Six to shoot. Over ball. Foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Now went on ball. A superb scorer and a talented distributor. Tyrese Halliburton is exactly the type of point guard every team would love to have. Matherin's checked in for McConnell. And Ball will bring it up here for Charlotte. The lead is two. MP against Turner. Best passes to Rozier. Oh, and Turner with a block. Miles Turner with that length sends it back twice on the pipe. Miles. Target foul. Best. First personal foul. Second team foul. Second half of basketball. Just over a minute played so far. Toppin finds Halliburton. Back to Toppin. Pass to Matherin for the lead. There is a quickness and a physicality. Terry Rozier has all the tools to be a tremendous defender. Here's Miller. And he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. Miller's gotten four this quarter. And you know Coach loves seeing his offense operate at this level. Great passing out there. And plays like that one can make the difference in a close game. And it definitely got the bench on their feet, too. Well, credit him for going for it, not settling, saying, I'm going to attack. Miller, the pass to best. Here's Miller, guarded by Heald. Down to five on the shot clock. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. His efficiency has been a big factor in helping them capture this lead. Indiana trailing here. Halliburton, the pass to Turner. Outside Matherin. Up top, Toppin. Halliburton on the wing. Pass to Turner. Out to Heald. Fires for three. Fires in the triple. Heald's got 11 points. If you look at the active three-point percentage list, Mr. Buddy Heald is near the top. This guy is the very definition of sharpshooter. Bridges passes to best. Back to Bridges. Inside, just five to shoot. The shot by best, no good. Indiana's gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. And it's Matherin missing. 
And guys, this has got to be more of a team effort. Right now, he's playing all for himself. You know, talking to people around the league doors, there's an it factor with Benedict Matherin. You know, B.A., he is definitely willing to try to put an offense on his back. He has proven not to be afraid in the closing moments of the game. This guy wants the ball anywhere, anytime. And sometimes that in and itself will carve a spot for you in this league. Here's Toppin. And the shot goes in. OB Toppin. He has six. Listen, the painted area is where OB Toppin could be so dangerous. The athleticism and the tools he has. Look out. Pass to Miller. MP outside. Down low. Rozier. Matherin with a rebound. Matherin's got four rebounds now. Well, it hasn't been the most efficient game for this guy, but their team is fortunate to still be out in front. They double him with MP. Turner passes to Matherin. Oh, the go-ahead bucket, no good. Sometimes you just have an off day, and this is one of those games for him. Rozier against Matherin. Rozier gets the bucket, and the Hornets lead by four. Well, Terry Rozier, the guard, undersized, but making the defenders pay inside. Toppin. It's blocked. Now Bridges. He's got 12. Ball passes to Best. He's got a piece of it. Here's Heald. Down it goes, and a great assist by Halliburton. Halliburton's got six assists now in the game. Now a timeout called by Charlotte. All right, fans, who wants a free T-shirt? Charlotte making some changes. Substitution All right, a look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for Charlotte. They've been all about high percentage looks in this game. Working the ball inside and doing whatever it takes to get it to go. I think the other thing we're seeing tonight is the floor spacing of this team. Boy, they are shooting the cover off the basketball all game. On the court for the Hornets. Rozier is the two with Miller at the three. MP is out there with Nick Richards. And it's ball in at the point. Shot clock at five. Puts one up from 19. And the jumper is on the mark. Ball's got four points now in the quarter. Well, just take what the defense gives you. If they concede the mid-range, LaMelo says, I like that shot. Pass to heel. Good work defensively by Richards. You will have to finish harder than that if you want to convert in traffic. Ooh, nice Miller. shot by Miller. Miller's got 14 points here in the second half. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. And that's typical of this guy. He's always reading the situation, reacting quickly, and capitalizing. Healed against MP. From the right block. Richards pulls it in. Richards has got four rebounds in the game. MP outside. To the inside. Outside for Rozier. Here's Best. Second chance effort. And he takes yes. it up and lays it in. And the Hornets lead by 21. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Ball against Halliburton. Here's Matherin. Second shot opportunity. Oh, MP with a block. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. And the Hornets making a change here. Bridges is checked in. Matherin, no good on the free throw. Boy, when you think about Benedict Matherin, this guy is a talented, aggressive scorer. His ceiling very high. He's going to have to be a little more efficient. Pass the ball. Rebounded by Halliburton. Indiana's gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. It's Brown on the wing. He's guarded by Bridges. Ball against Halliburton. Brown inside. 
Out to heel. Fires from deep. And a great assist by Brown as that one goes in. Now, one of the most valuable pieces of real estate in the NBA, that corner three. It's shorter than other spots, and Mr. Heald cashes in. Miller, the pass to best. Pass to Richards. Bridges against Matherin. Toppin with a steal. Now here's Heal. Tightly guarded. Halliburton outside. And here's Heald. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. Clock at two. And it's Matherin missing. Superb defense, guys. No way he's going to let him get off a clean look at the basket. Down low. Here's Miller. He's now 8 for 11 after that made shot. You know, put a rough first half behind him. He's absolutely crushing it here in the second. Ball against Halliburton. Pass to Brown. To the middle. There's the three. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Bridges has got his eighth rebound here tonight. To the paint. Here's Best. Nice D from Brown. Second chance shot. And MP Best. with a layup. And the Hornets lead by 20. Second chance points are always painful. Have to make the effort to box out. No doubt those extra possessions can really add up against you when you do not take care of the defensive glass. Inside. Kick out to Brown. The three ball. It's rebounded by Charlotte. So disruptive defensively out beyond the arc. Well, tremendous effort, tremendous timing. The ability to alter shots on the perimeter, that was beautiful. MP outside. Back to ball. Good, and the assist goes to MP. Ball's got six here in the quarter. What an electrifying game by LaMelo Ball. Is anyone oh, more exciting than this young guy? That's the idea. You work the ball into that area. It's a sweet spot. Pass to Richards. And even the players have expressed concern about load management. Are changes afoot? Or is this the new normal, Greg? Well, B.A., I think protecting players from injury is smart to do. But maybe the ticket sellers need to highlight the back-to-back -back game so fans are well aware that some players might be sitting. When LaMelo entered the league, his three-point shot was a little bit of a mystery. But, boy, we can put that to rest. This young man can shoot it. Time called here. Indiana decides to talk it over. That's Protecting the rim the has to be their top objective right now. And the question they're going to have to answer to me is, is it a problem with the scheme or is it a problem with matchups? Smith, he's checked in for Matherin. Rozier, he's checked in for Charlotte. All right, time for an injury report. Now an update on Terry Rozier from Ali LaForce. What'd you find out, Ali? Thanks, guys. I just talked with the Hornets head athletic trainer. There's some pain in the chest area, especially when breathing. Right now, it's being called a bruise. And to have an injury like this so early on in the season isn't easy, but they're confident that they'll be fine while they wait for him to come back. They certainly have a next man up mentality, guys. All right, Allie, thanks. Appreciate the update. Obviously, guys, you hate to see an injury like this. Yeah, just so tough. It comes with the territory of being a professional athlete. But yes, here's hoping he recovers soon. Well, we're obviously hoping for a speedy recovery because we know this about this young guy. He simply loves playing the game. Here's Smith. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. This is exactly what you hope to see from Jalen Smith. Use that length and physicality in the lane. First one falls for him. No 
good on the second free throw. And the NBA's TV deal expires after next season. What are you hearing about where things are headed, Grant? Well, B.A., the league seems focused yes. on greater access for the fans, especially the cord cutters. So with more games on broadcast TV and possibly a streaming package as well. To the middle. Goes back up. And scoring with a play inside is Smith. <laughs> Collecting plenty of second chance points this half. That alone can keep a team in a game. Pass to Bridges, to the paint. Here's Rozier. The Pacers pull it in. Halliburton outside. There's the drive. Smith outside. From outside the arc. Down it goes. And a great assist by Halliburton. Halliburton's got nine assists in the game. Great passing. Bridges outside. Two minutes MP up game. top. Two minutes. Pass to Miller. Back to MP. No luck on that one. Ooh, excellent D there from Smith. And so it's Halliburton with it. He brings it up for the Pacers. 17-point game. 133 left to play in the fourth quarter. Oh, my goodness. Off his feet in a hurry. You love to see Jalen Smith play with aggression in the paint. And the distance between the point totals for these teams tells the whole story. Just a fantastic effort, and you have to give it up for the Hornets. They made a point to get some good looks. Yes, they were able to pound the ball inside. I love it. And they'll chalk this up as their third win of the year. Yeah, this is far from the last word in the season series. Still three more meetings between them and plenty of motivation to square things up. And it wasn't just the superstars providing the spark tonight. It was a tremendous showing for MP. Boy, his defense is what stood out to me. There was a no-fly zone around this guy all night. He contested every shot in his area and sent a few back. Best passes to ball. Back to MP. The Pacers pull it in. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. Right. He stays connected and great timing on the contest. There's 31 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Bridges. Cash. It's Marcus MP Bridges. picking up the assist. And the Hornets lead by 17. And they've been careless with the ball tonight. Yeah, it's a lack of focus and a lack of discipline. They're better than this. Here's Halliburton. MP with the block. And they get it back. Kick out to Brown. Shoots over Rozier. Best grabs the board. So Charlotte takes this one by a That's big margin. The the game. Boy, this crowd has to be shocked by the way their team was dismantled. Uh, shocked and surprised. It doesn't matter what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to just waltz in and cruise to the type of victory like we saw tonight. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Ali LaForce, Doris Burke, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson alongside our 2K Sports crew thanking you for watching. So long, everyone. Great team win the night. Very balanced offense. What was the difference for you guys? You know, I think we come in together, man. You're starting to see what this team is capable of on a nightly basis when we execute and, make, and I make the right reads, you know. It's not easy to win this league, but it's definitely a formula we can repeat. Do you feel like you're starting to answer some of the questions about you before the season? Oh, man, people can be skeptical, but that's their right, you know. All I can say is that they just judge me on what you see on the court. Not what the talking heads are saying. My game speaks for itself. You spoke loudly tonight, man. I know Thanks. it did, man.